So this video is still on representation theory and we are still reviewing some linear algebra. In the previous video we uh, saw the complex inner product spaces. So here um, we begin with, with an example of so x is a finite set okay and i'm going to introduce this notation we are used to this um, this means uh, i like to see this as this as from x to the complex okay so this equals the set of mappings from x to the complex numbers and this is a uh, vector space so on this vector space we define these operations f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x and the multiplication by a scalar equals the scalar times the function okay now we define for each x in the set x we define the function delta x this mapping is taking from a set x to the complex numbers and is taking this way delta x of y is 1 if x equals y and 0 for all x different from y and obviously we can ch we can get a inner product for this so it is quite easy as I was saying to get a natural inner product for this mapping from X to the complex numbers so this uh, inner product will be given by FG with the sum of from X in the set X fg times uh, the conjugate of the gx bar okay so this set delta x such that x is in the set x is a ortho this is a orthonormal uh, basis this set is a orthonormal basis with respect to this inner product so if if we pick f a mapping in this um, this one mapping here um, so then its unique expression as a linear combination of uh, delta x will be f will be the sum with the elements x in the, the set x f of x times delta x okay times that delta x the function we defined uh, before okay so consequently the dimension of this uh, mapping is equal to the dimension of the set x uh, now since we have an inner product, this direct sum decompositions are very easy to obtain. You see, so direct sum decompositions are easy to obtain in inner in inner product spaces. So if we have a subspace, remember I in previous videos I'm going to use this notation for uh, subspace. So if W is a subspace of V then the uh, orthogonal complement of W is easy to, to find. So this is a notation for uh, orthogonal will be uh, V in the space V such that and we use the, the inner product uh, this will be zero okay for all w in w 
Okay, and here we have an example how uh, uh, having a inner product or being in a inner product space is quite handy, powerful and easy to to work with.